Hey guys, hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nassine, I'm 37. I have four beautiful kids, a floofy, fluffy husky, two kitty kitties, and I love it when you give me a clicky clicky. Today is a very, very special video. Not only am I meal prepping, which I needed to get back into, and I haven't done it in a really long time, this video is in collaboration with one of the very first keto YouTubers that I ever started watching, and that I still watch to this very day, and she's extremely, extremely motivational and informational. Her name is Elizabeth. You may know her as the Countess of Low Carb. This is a monumental achievement for me to even be in her grace and speak to her. I think she is a fabulous person. Not only is she kind and friendly, she's been nothing but helpful to me along my way and she has all kinds of information on fasting and keto and weight loss in general. She's done an amazing job herself. She has an adorable little boy that she cooks for and she takes care of and doing all of that and being an entrepreneur and growing her business, she still has time to make videos for us. So if you do not know who Elizabeth is, please go click the card in the top corner and go check her out. Please, please, you guys will not regret it. As far as me today, I am going to be meal prepping that noise with my Instapot. I am filming this after I already did most of my meal prep. See, I'm in my little apron and I have made, and I have made the following chili, taco meat, egg roll in a bowl, and some chicken alfredo, which is not really done yet. So, as Elizabeth says, um, I'm kind of also the Sesame Street chef. As you can see, sink full of dishes. I clean up afterwards, so that's what I'm in the process of doing now, but I wanted to go ahead and film this intro. Um, things were everywhere, but it's getting under control now. So, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are coming over here from Elizabeth's channel, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you here. I hope you guys are having a great day. Let's so jump in. This is what meal. we are meal prepping keto chili, taco meat, egg roll in a bowl, and some chicken alfredo. All right, so the first part of my chili is to cook down the chorizo. Then I'm going to add in the, the, the meat. Then I add in my chicken broth my tomatoes, and that'll be my first one done. This recipe is loosely based off of um, keto ginger chili. I do not add any onions or peppers or anything into this. Sometimes I do, but I'm not today. I'm just doing the meat chorizo, the tomatoes, the broth, and the sauce. That's all I'm going for today. So now I am going to brown up the ground beef for the egg roll in the bowl and brown up my ground beef for tacos. And I decided to double this recipe to make extra so I added another pack of chorizo and then more ground beef into this. So in the egg roll in a bowl I like to add some of the stir in based in paste ginger. Add that in and then I also add in some soy sauce. You can also use those amino acids. And I'm just using the same chopper to chop up the meat for the tacos. Alright, so I've added um, two cups of water and two tablespoons of my dry. Um, broth base seasoning for the chili. I have this cooked down. I just seasoned it with, I seasoned it with the garlic from Fresh Jacks, um, salt, pepper, and then my taco seasoning is, I put some Fresh Jacks habanero, habanero lime, the garlic, the cracked pepper, and chili powder, paprika, and ground cumin. So these two are done. This is still cooking. I'll show you. I'm gonna add in the cabbage to this. So I've added in the cabbage, the broccoli slaw, and I'm just letting that kind of get soft. And I'll add in some more soy sauce. Um, the thing I like about Elizabeth and when she does her meal prep, she always makes me laugh because she says like, 
because she says how she's the Sesame Street chef and things are just flying and and she she's not like super like clean about it like she doesn't care she's cooking clean up is for later and I'm kind of the same way especially when you're trying to get it done like as fast as you can you're not you're not worried about that kind of stuff right right now you know what I mean so that's what I like about Elizabeth she is one of my favorites just add some kind of a lot but some garlic salt into there and actually there's a look at that clump and beat it up get out of here clump uh oh that is definitely yeah so I'm gonna stir this up get that clump out of there taco meat is done this is what the chili is looking like I still got to add in the paste and the tomatoes be back so my final thing on the list, I'm going to be using oregano, pepper, salt, and herbs de Provence <laughs> on um, this 8 tablespoons of this Irish butter in here, sauteing some boneless skinless chicken thighs. I'm going to be using some heavy whipping cream and I'm going to be making a chicken alfredo. So I went ahead and removed the chicken. And I have one cup of Parmesan cheese. I did add a little bit more butter and a cup of heavy whipping cream. And I still have my Instant Pot on saute mode. And I'm just gonna let this, this sauce thicken up and become a nice Alfredo sauce. I, did, I will add a little bit more seasonings into this. And so then I added the chicken back in and I did add a little bit more salt and then I put some frozen broccoli in there. Now I'm just going to put this lid on. Put the lid on, put it on lock, set this to, this is dusty, set that to uh, no steam. And then Legit. we'll do for 15. Start, this is, make sure, make sure, make sure everything locked. Okay. All right. And I'm going to start cleaning up. All right, and here's the last thing. This is the chicken Alfredo. Made a whole bunch of it, so we can put this over um, any type of spaghetti squash or, um, I've not tried these yet, but this is better than pasta stuff. There's all kinds, zucchini noodles, or you can just eat it as a soup. That's probably what I'm going to be doing, or even pour it over mashed potatoes if you're not keto. There's, uh, the options are endless. This is really good. The br what? This is really, really good. And here is a beautiful shot of the chili. My kids love this stuff. I make it almost every week and they eat it up almost every single time before it's even time to eat it. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to my channel, give it a like, and if you are new here, hi, thank you for stopping by. Please don't forget to go check out Elizabeth's channel. I would really appreciate it if you let her know that I sent you. I'm pretty sure most of you are already subscribed to her because she is an amazing boss lady. And that is all guys. I hope you have a great day.